guys, it's Risa and my mother Molly. Hi. And we're in her kitchen and oh my God, are you in for a treat? We are making her super delicious and nutritious tuna casserole. It's one of my favorites. It's been one of my comfort foods since I was a little girl. My mom's been making this recipe for us and you are so lucky that we are sharing it with you guys. All right, it's a comfort food. So is it really low fat? Not really, but it's okay, everything in moderation. I do have a lower fat version. It doesn't compare to my mom's. So before we start and tell you all the ingredients that you're gonna need, I just wanna remind you guys to ring the bell option so you get all my new videos by email. And of course, my group, WW Tips and Recipes by Risa. Please subscribe, share with other people. I love getting all your comments and your posts of my recipes and how you've changed them up or make them the same. And my website, www.risawiner.com. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a four liter pan. And I'm gonna show you after, cause I'm gonna show you the end result cause we've already made one. Of course we have. I've been busy, we've been busy. So um, what we did was we have whatever pasta you like, um, we mix it up, whatever my mother has. This was the, um, what kind is this? The bow tie and uh, penne and rotini. And we used a package and a half. So it's quite a bit, it's about like 16 cups. You can do half the recipe or you can put them into smaller uh, Pyrex dishes, all right? And make sure you spray them. We're going to make it and then we freeze it and then you bake it off for how long, mom? Like an hour and Well, everything is cooked, so you just have to, it, it depends if it's been frozen, you leave it in longer. longer. So if it's, yeah. if it's fresh and you're making it the day before and you're just gonna bake it off for about a good, like I guess 45 minutes yeah, or so, cause it is cooked it and you just want it heated through. So you can test it out, all right? So um, we're making a four liter, uh, quite a large one because we like to make, and when you're making already, then you can freeze and have extra because then it's less work later. It may be a lot of work now, but it's okay. So you're gonna uh, cook it and of course, um, strain it really well, all right? And we have it already right here. Okay, that's a lot of pasta. Now, what we've done is we've taken a large onion, Vidalia, regular onion, and a can of sliced mushrooms. And we just put a little bit of margarine, you can use spray, whatever you want. And we like to saute it till it's nice and brown and um, it gives a lot more flavor. So what my mom's gonna do right now is we have two tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of flour. That's really important because this is gonna make the roux, right mom? And so she's gonna cook it down and uh, let it just uh, all incorporate. Want me to help you? Oh, here, let me do it. Okay, so we're gonna do this and make sure that it's all incorporated on a medium to high heat. So you don't want any flour. And this is gonna make for a really creamy and nice thick sauce, that, that's what you want, okay? So we're just putting it all in, mixing it around. Just keep mixing it, keep your eye on it. Don't go in the other room. I've done that before, don't do that. All right, so we've incorporated. Now, my mother uses ah, uh, homogenized milk, okay? And we're gonna use four cups, um, and we're using three cups of cream. Sometimes she uses more milk, but we ran out of milk because we were making more um, two, two recipes today. So you could do five cups of milk, and you know, just a few cups of the cream. So you can decide, all right? So we've, but we're gonna add it now so that it can start getting thick. Of course, you're gonna need tuna, of course, the star. We almost forgot it in our first video. My mom says, where's the tuna? How can you have tuna casserole without tuna? Oh my God. And of course, drain it. And we like to have it in water. So we've got three, three tins of tuna. So. Just want to remind you, and I'll tell you about the topping in a minute, okay? So you're going to keep stirring that, Mom. And so first we're adding the 
four cups of milk. Right, Mom? Okay, four cups of milk. Keep stirring. So she's going to stir it until it gets nice and thick. And we're going to add the spices. And now we're going to add the cream. Because you want it moist. You don't want a dry casserole. That would not be good. Okay, so here, let me fix it for you. Okay, my mom's going to add the... So we have one can of cream of mushroom soup. Don't go low fat, people. You need... You need the fat for this recipe, okay? So we'll take a whisk now, and then we'll start whisking this in. We'll turn the temperature up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Don't do what I do. I don't. She doesn't. I do. You're so quick, Mom. Okay. So, wait, wait, wait. So now, we're going to keep stirring this. Mom, you go over here, and I'll add the uh, spices. Salt. Salt. <laughs> Definite salt. So, we're going to put in about, I don't know, we're going to see. You need to taste it. You know all my recipes you have to taste, right? So we'll put in, just for you guys, we'll measure one. We'll start with two tablespoons, okay? Right, Mom? Because it needs salt. And now we're going to add in um, a teaspoon of, of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic, Mmm, because we love lots of flavor. That's who taught me, my mom. All right, and we're going to put in about a tablespoon of oregano. At least. Yeah, at least a tablespoon, because we like to taste it afterwards. And we may add more. So when I do my um, written part, I always say a tablespoon or more. Okay, so you guys can decide. All right, so it's starting to look beautiful here. Easy. Pardon? Easy does it. Easy does it, because we don't want to spill, spill it. it. <laughs> All right. That's good. It's going to get thick. Now, another great ingredient is Worcestershire. Lots of good flavor. We're going to put in at least a tape, maybe two tablespoons? Yeah. Two tablespoons at least, because we're going to taste it afterwards. Because sometimes it just needs more after it's cooked up. Okay? Two good heaping tablespoons. I'm going to leave it here because we might need more. And we're going to put in about one teaspoon of some chili flakes. You'll see that it'll start to bubble and get thick. Because we like some zip. Now, if you don't want some zip, don't add it. But we like a little bit of zip to it. And, of course, some Tabasco or Frank's hot sauce. Okay, that'll work as well. And we'll put in about, what, two teaspoons? Mm -hmm. Two teaspoons. Because, again, we want flavor. All right. And we may add a little bit more. You never know. And, of course, pepper is really important and a good... I don't know. I'm going to we sprinkle. We sprinkle, but I'm going to, for, for the sake of my members, we'll put in a teaspoon, a good teaspoon, because that's quite a bit. That's a good amount, Mom. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Okay. All right. Let's get this. Let's get, let's get this. Come on. Start cooking. We want this to get nice and thick. I already put in Worcester. Oh, did you? Yeah, I showed them the Worcester. Okay, so this is going to get nice and thick. It's going to come to a boil, and you'll see the difference. Just use a whisk and keep stirring it, my friends. Now, as I mentioned, um, we're going to put the tuna 
inside the pasta, okay? So I'm just gonna add that. I have a large, large bowl here because it's just easier to mix. You, you, start, you, you can uh, mix that, Mom. Okay, I'm just gonna move this over so you can see that I'm putting in three tins. I mean, some people don't put hardly any in, but you want the flavor of the tuna to come out for the casserole, especially when you're making a large one like we are. Okay, I'm just looking for I'll just use, sometimes I just use my hands because you want to incorporate all the tuna in here, okay? And you're gonna need a really large bowl. So just mix that up, mix, mix, mix. And I'm gonna wipe my hands off. So my mom's just mixing that up here. No, I don't like You don't want that? Okay. Okay, now, the other thing that we use for a topping is cornflake crumbs. You can buy them already made or just take your Cuisinart, your hand mixer, whatever, and you can crush them up. And we're putting in four cups because we're making a four liter, a large casserole, okay? And they're fresher when you make them yourself because they stay in the box on the store so long. So my mom says, make them yourself because it's fresher, okay? That's the words of my mom. And we're gonna use about uh, two tablespoons of margarine inside. So we're gonna melt it now and I'll just have it ready. And we're gonna use about, what, two tablespoons of oregano on top? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, about two tablespoons or so. We'll start with one and we'll see, okay? So I'm just gonna, Move the camera over. Mom, can you move over to the side? Can you move over to there? And I'm gonna move the camera over so you can see there. All right. Can you see? I hope you can see. All right, so we have another pan here. I'm just gonna turn it on. And we're gonna just put in the margarine. You can see that I didn't wash out the other one because we already made one. So you don't need to waste it and or wash it. I mean, if you wanted to rinse it out, you could. But why, why do that if you're going to be making lots? So we're going to let this melt, the margarine. And, and the topping is one of our favorite parts of the whole recipe. Okay, so cornflake crumbs are delish. I wouldn't try panko. I wouldn't try breadcrumbs. This gives it the best flavor. All right, what does it give? The best flavor. I turned this down so okay. it wouldn't boil over. Okay, so my mom turned it down. It's getting thicker. Is it getting thicker now? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna add the um, the cups of the two cups of cornflake crumbs, and we're just gonna mix that in. Oh, I have the wrong one on. Oh, jeepers! Might it might help if I had the right one on? Oh my god! Okay, so we just mix that in. And I'll show you in a second. And then we're going to add the oregano. I just want to see how much I put in. I put in, yeah, I put in one, one big tablespoon. Let's see. I'm just going to mix in one big tablespoon. This was a good idea to get this all ready too, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. So we're just incorporating all the margarine with the cornflake crumbs and oregano. You don't add any other spices to the topping. That's it. I like to taste it, see if it needs a bit more oregano. I like a little bit more, so I'm gonna put another teaspoon in. And you know I always drop something, right? <laughs> the lid. 
Okay, how's that coming? That looks beautiful. Yeah. Okay, and, and this looks beautiful. Right, turn it right down. Yeah, turn it right so down. So it would coat, cook slowly. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to show you. Here are the crumbs, okay, with the um, margarine, two tablespoons of margarine or butter. If you want to use butter, you can do what you want. And one and a half, one tablespoon and a half a teaspoon, and a teaspoon, yeah, one and a half of the um oreg um yeah oregano oh my god i've been in this kitchen for hours okay so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna add this so it's nice and thick if you move out of the way mom so i can just show them it's still not thick no okay yeah we, we cook it long that's why okay it looks nice and it's getting nice and thick yeah. All right. Don't spill it. I won't spill it. Just leave it and let okay. it cook. All right. So we're going to leave it and let it cook. Anyways, that's basically what you do. So we're going to add the sauce to our pasta and tuna. Okay. And then we're going to sprinkle on, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. Because this needs to get thick and it might take a while. Dun, da, da, da. Look at this. It weighs 500 pounds. Okay. And we're going to put some tinfoil over it. We're going to um, either bake it now for a good hour. Everything is cooked. I have to put it down. It is super duper heavy. You could do your weights lifting with this. Okay. We're not going to cook it. We're no, gonna, we're going to freeze it, right? Freeze okay. It, yeah. So I'm just going to show you that if you want to just spray, um, we're going to be making this one in a couple of pans. So you can do uh, smaller pans and spread it out, or you could use even the 9 by 13 and do like four of these. Okay. Just spray it well. And again, we're just going to... Add this sauce once it gets nice and thick because it could take a while, people. You have to be patient, all right? And that's why I have the other one already done. And then you're just going to sprinkle on the uh, cornflakes on top, pat it down. And if you put it in your freezer, um, it lasts probably a good few months in the freezer, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Probably two to three months. If, you can keep it, it but if it lives that long because it's super yummy and delicious okay so special treat is my mom's tuna casserole um, we're going to finish this one off and we're going to be freezing it we usually have it for a family celebration but this is really a recipe that you can enjoy for dinner for guests for celebrations for holidays i'm telling you for brunch for lunch, for dinner, okay? Even if you wanted a snack, if you um, portion it out afterwards and put it into containers, you can freeze it as well once you bake it off, all right? And then microwave it. It'll still be delicious because it's so creamy. You will see that you are gonna love this recipe. So I hope you enjoy. And from my mother's kitchen, who's, my mother's turning 90, depending on when you're watching this, okay? So uh, it's such a good, good, delicious meal. All right, so bye for now. Say bye, Mom. Bye and enjoy. And enjoy. And tell us what you think of Molly's delicious recipe. Okay, it's like no other. Take care. Bye for now.